know everyone thank you for tuning in i am jay lee this is Eddie's corner and this is another edition of car conversations on jay's corner okay this is my third one today um because i'm trying to get things done and whatnot okay uh do not forget to subscribe to my channel to become a whole chamber chamber Da, 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 and all that goodness and stuff okay do not forget to like this video comment in the comment section and also share it on your social media do not forget to also relax to relate to release to send yourself and everyone around you also remember to inhale and exhale because it helps you not want to you know what i'm saying or whatever um fist the cuffs do not forget to also follow me on social media at j underscore leaves underscore corner and all of that jazz okay the link to my social medias is always in the description boxes below okay in every video okay in every video um what is your... people can't drive anyway this is my review for a black and crew which came on yesterday um and i did not take any notes i watched it like i watched it last night i watched a little bit more of it today uh to kind of refresh my memory i feel like you know it did not need no sit down review it was mostly about don and her bullshit okay um donna has this thought in her head okay that she is entitled because she has been around for a while okay and so that is what was going on all this episode and whatnot and i was like but i don't believe that now we also saw a couple other things too okay we seen uh uh chris crystal and rock are back together you know what i'm saying rock tattooed her she tattooed him he has a you know a k on on him she has an r on her for chris and for rock i'm like okay fine they said they in love okay they gonna weather the storm or whatever cool i, I don't i like them as a couple and, and she said that she recognized who he is and she know who he is and she can't be getting mad at him when she know how he is or whatever so again she realized she was being dumb okay fine 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 okay we also see that ted fake ass wife uni the uni a uni girl i don't know what her name is but ted fake ass wife is there he hiding her okay because like i don't feel like having a conversation i'm like how do you not feel like talking to people about the person you call your wife like i don't get the point of that to have to like because the, the cast know her but i was like bruh it's dumb okay so you need there but we ain't gonna see her we saw her one time he said i thought she could run in and pee and run out and no one would see her but puma saw her i was like who cares okay anyway i'm gonna leave that be um so we see that happen too you know scenes brings up how you know him and suzette ain't doing too good right now she's still mad man look fuck suzette fuck C's. so on to donna donna and alex really uh Tati talks to C, C, C said to Puma about, you know, not feeling safe with Donna always threatening to be her ass. I'm not here to fight. You know, she wants to fight me, and I'm not going to fight y'all to talk to her because, again, she feels as if she don't have to listen to me, and I can't do my job right if she don't listen or whatever. So when Ted, Ted, when C talked to Ted and Puma about, like, what the fuck wrong with Donna, they're like, we all know, like, she really feels entitled, like, you know what I'm saying, she just has the right to do whatever. And how the other day she had hair delivered to the shop. He like, why the fuck she have hair? And he like, I don't like, I don't know. Cause Donna hasn't told anyone what her plan is for the space she wants to have in the shop. And all anyone keeps asking her is, what the fuck are you trying to do in the shop? Like, how much space do you need? What are you doing? And she can't answer that question or whatever. So again, it's that whole thing. So Puma then suggests his friend who's in Atlanta or whatever. Was this motherfucker a drag race? We don't drag race here. I mean, we do, but they shouldn't. Anyway, Puma has a friend who has like a, a 70 acres of land. Um, but he has like a little ranch or a camp or whatever for creatives. So they want to go there for some team building. Because again, you know, with Donna Tati having issues with Rock Crystal and that Atlanta dude, you know, having issues or whatever. We see that the Atlanta manager also feels some kind of way about people there, respecting or whatever. So again, there are other things to be discussed. Of course, I'm behind a woman who don't know you can turn on red. Why you sitting here? You can go. You all the other cars. All the other cars. Are Why are you not going? You see all the... What the fuck? Like, you see all the other cars. 
attorney. Why are you sitting here? Okay. Anyway, so they're gonna go to this little camp. It has like horseback riding, it has you know, fishing, it has um all these things, you know, dirt back riding or whatever, all these things that they can kind of, you know, my eyes itching. They continue building or whatnot. So they're gonna go to this. They get there, um, and they want to talk to Donna, <laughs> but this can also help them do other shit or whatever. So when the when push comes to shove, Donna's still there, act like a bully with Tati. Donna ain't in charge of shit, but she trying to talk over Tati and, and all this shit because she wants to fight Tati, which means Donna don't know how to be an adult. So when they get to the group circle to have a conversation about, you know, what conflicts does anybody have with anybody? So Rock asked old dude from Atlanta to apologize to Crystal. He says, I'm sorry, but then he say how, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you went too far with how you felt. I'm like, dude, fuck you, okay? She did not go too far. You on bullshit. You do not like working with women is what it seemed like, okay? You seem like you, he did be fired. Okay, he's a me too moving away from being fired. Okay, leave that be. So that whole thing happened. Crystal don't really accept his apology because he then said how she went too far. Fuck you, dude. Okay. So then they get to Tati and Donna. See, like, hey, so who else has the issue? Donna take her jacket off and say, whoever got an issue with me, we can talk and we can fight. You want to fight? I'm ready. I'm like, why you keep trying to fight people? Okay. Tati then say, like, look. I ain't trying to fight you, whatever. It's on bullshit or whatever you're saying. I'm trying to tell you that you can't dictate what I do. Blah, 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 blah. Down the issue is, you should not be trying to stop me from doing what I want to do at the shop. Okay? If you don't like it, if you feel as if your position is higher than mine, if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, I should have to do to, to you, we're going to fight. I'm just like, why do you keep trying to fight? So, they don't really squash anything or whatever because Donna on some bullshit. So when they move on from that, okay, they then, because Tati's the issue was, stop threatening me. You can't say we friends if you're going to keep threatening to fight me. Like, I don't want to do that or whatever. <laughs> Donna then say, I'm the kind of friend who will say I'll hit you, but I won't hit you. I'm like, bitch, don't do that either. Anyway, when they try to move past Donna and Tati's issue and get to the Atlanta manager talking to the Atlanta staff, because the, the Atlanta staff is there and so is New York. Because it's, it's black ink or whatever. Was she saying to the Atlanta dude who had an issue with, with Crystal how he doesn't like to respect her either? Okay? And they start fussing a little bit. Donna cuts them off and say, No one knows what y'all talking about, so it don't matter. Let's move on. Disrespect the manager. I'm, I'm like, Bitch, what? And they're like, How the fuck do you stop two people from talking, from having a scene because you feel like. It should not be about them. It should be about you and Tati or whatever. Producers, the producer then step in. Like, Donna, what you doing? You on bullshit. Donna then starts arguing with the producers. I'm like, bitch, you fussing with the producers of the show? Wow, the girl. And the whole cast looking like, Donna, what the fuck? You? Donna's out of control, okay? To me, Donna is out of control. Because, oh, fuck. It's a whole... Damn it, I can't about it's a whole traffic jam that I can see. Okay, I can see it. I see it. And I was too, I couldn't move to get off the freeway without causing an accident. So, that's what it is. Um, anyway, if I have to come up with the next exit, I'll do that. Anyway, so, Donna now fussing with production. Okay, production come in like, look. The point of doing this was because we're trying to let people air out their issues or whatever a different way. Okay? Donna upsets and then y'all, y'all do this every year. You know, y'all know y'all just did this because of me and Tati. They like, no, it's other issues besides you two, okay? And we see that because they're trying to talk about that, but Donna don't want to. So Donna's fussing and fussing and fussing. They like, look, the one lady the one producer, she's like, Donna, cut it out or whatever, look. We don't do this every year. The point, I mean, the point of us doing this is to show that y'all don't have to act crazy and fuss and fight every time there's an issue. And down the issue is, well, we always fuss and fight. That's what we do. We should be able to fuss and fight. She's like, no, we're trying to do things differently. And Donna don't want to do that. She wants to fuss and fight people. That's how she wants to get down. And everyone else like, no, we should not have to do that. The fact that Donna wants to fuss with production about them trying to not show her act, act in a crazy way to me is insane now 
the kicker is C's ain't shit, okay? And the whole thing with him and how his daughter went through whatever. I feel like don't try to make Donald out to be the bad guy or whatever. Cause C's full of shit. C's full of shit, so it's said. So I feel like him saying it's bullshit all around. But for this particular scene, C's and Ted wasn't involved, okay? It was Donna who was on some bullshit. But they're like, fuck it. Wrap it up, we're gonna go home. So then Donna and Alex talk. C's, Puma, and Ted talking. Donna and Alex talking, and Donna keeps saying how C's agreed to let me have space to do whatever. He told me yes, yes, yes. Production then show each time she talked to C's, C's never said yes. C's kept asking her, what do you want to do in the space? Because you said you don't want tattoo no more, so what is the space for? At one point, she said hand a tattoo. She then said maybe some eyebrows or whatever, but she came to the shop and did, had some fucking hair, okay? She never, she she also brought up having her little CBD stuff or whatever, but she never had it for sure this is what it would be. So he always said, figure that shit out, and then we can talk. But in Donna's crazy head, C told her yes. <laughs> I'm like, that ain't what he said. Alex then say, I was there. You know, I seen C say yes. They re, they re, I'm like, he never said yes. He never said yes. Everyone is, I'm, Donna's full of shit. So Alex is dumb. Because when Alex told Donna, you know, you, they, they ungrateful. They ain't shit. Blah, blah, blah. They don't have your back. I'm looking like, you have her back, yes. But you have her back supporting the bullshit she doing. That's not making her look good. Okay, I think Donna realized once she came tattoo. Donna is not a good tattoo artist and she was not booking tattoo clients that much. So Donna and Alex do bookings across the world. That's how she make money whatever. But she also know she has to do other things. And that's fine. But you can't make it seem as if like C's owes you anything and like you should have explained what you're doing in the shop he owns. And it's, I hate the fact that Donna got me fucking defending C's because I hate C's. Okay? Anyway, um, so Ted sees and um Ted sees and Puma talking, and they all feel like like they want to help Donna, but Donna can't be acting like she is entitled to just do whatever. Like she can't act as if she don't have to follow any rules. So they go on and talk to Donna. We're gonna talk to Donna and see what her plan is, and then go from there. They call Donna over because she said if Donna can't ship up, ship out, then you know her and Alice gotta go. So when they call her over to talk. See, like, okay, what is your plan? Well, I don't know. You know, I want to do this. I, I got a clothing line. I got a, this. I got um, a model casting call coming. She has, like, 18 different businesses or whatever. He's like, okay, but what do you need help with? What? Can, how can I help you? Well, he's, I, I got to have a, a, a casting call. He says, fine, I will book you a location to have your casting call or whatever. I'll pay for it, blah, blah, blah. She's like, no. I want to use the shop. He's like, I don't want you to use my shop. I will pay for a venue to do it in everything. That I don't want that. Well, fuck it then. If y'all don't want me in the shop, I'm like, bitch, he's trying to help you. And you're saying no because you want to do what you want to do with his property. You can't do that. You can't want someone to support you, but only do it your way. Okay? For him to offer to, to hire a space to have a casting call, bitch, say yes. But Donna didn't want to do that. Okay, she's pissed. She pushed scenes like you ain't shit or whatever. But scenes tell her like you want respect, but you the worst at your artist. Cause she kept asking, I deserve respect. I've been down for y'all for ten years. I was there from the beginning. I'm like, bitch, you was not there. You were not on season one. Donna came in around season three. Okay, but she brings up how she was always in tattoo shop working for free, and he said, yeah, because you want you you came here for this. Okay, so fuck you, basically. Now, with Ted in the group at the house talking later on, Ted brings up how Donna came from Cleveland to New York once they was on TV or whatever, and that's why she was working for free, because she came here to get on the show, okay? That was, that's what she was doing, and she's now being paid for the show. Donna also brought up how even though she don't work as a tattoo artist at the shop no more, she's still a valid person for the show and for the Black Ink brand. I'll give her that. But with that comes, you have to be clear about what your vision is, okay? You don't have no clear vision, and so right now you're confused and you're conflicted. And that confusion and, and confliction <laughs> is making you do dumb shit, okay? Point blank, period. And 
the set that I have to go with Ted. Ted was right. You not gonna get day one loyalty when you was not here from day one. We all know Ted fronted up his dope money to start to start the business or whatever. They was all around before Donna got there. Donna, you did not help them build the brand. You came on the show and you are a great cast member, yes, of the show. But you can't ask for day one respect because you were there from day one. You came around day 10, okay? Anyway, so Ted asked Alex, is Donna okay mentally? He said, well, no, she's not, okay? She going through a lot. He didn't bring up how they're uh, they homeless right now because they leash was up. They have not found, found a new place. That ain't nobody fault with y'all. Y'all been out. How the fuck you homeless during COVID? How? How? Okay. You not even supposed to go no damn where. The fact that y'all lease was up and y'all did not, one, renew that shit, or two, find somewhere new to live before moving to fucking Atlanta, that's on y'all. Y'all can't blame that first on no one but y'all, okay? Who want to be homeless during COVID? Nobody. Anyway, so Ted said, okay, cool. You said that we know that she not mentally okay. It makes sense how she's been all crazy, whatever. Anyway, I don't care, okay? I still feel like Donna on bullshit. Had Donna said, look, I want to have my CBD juices and my wings in a corner in the shop. That's it. Okay, that's at least a start of you saying what you want to do. But you have never gave anybody a clear indication of what you want to do. You just keep naming other shit that you have going on, okay? And... I feel like Donna feels like because she can't tattoo, she don't want to end up like Sky. Sky didn't have shit to do. Sky had her little clothing line or whatever. I think in Miami, that didn't work out. Sky was also off her rockers a little bit and whatnot, and so she ended up leaving the show. Donna don't want to end up being put off the show because Donna don't have shit those going for her to make her a regular check. Okay, Donna gets a regular check from VH1 for the show. That's easy money. So she feel like I gotta keep doing something to keep getting this easy money because I don't have my plan B set up yet. And y'all should help me set up plan B because I've been here since day one. But you going about the wrong way. Okay. The fact that she's offered to get a shop, a shop, a location was the first step of him trying to support you. Take him up on that offer and then go from there. But you can't say fuck that. That ain't how I want it. So fuck you. Because now they don't want to work with you. So that was the whole episode, basically. You know what I'm saying? Nothing was really resolved. We did see that Donna and Alex ended up leaving some kind of way because the next the next day, um, the house was all quiet or whatever, and they go into their room and it was gone. So, Donna and them left, and they also blocked everybody on social media. Girl, I don't care. It's stupid. <laughs> it's crazy, and it's team too much. Anyway, that was basically the whole episode. If I miss some stuff, I don't care because, again, honey, it's just black ink. I want y'all to enjoy y'all Tuesday. But don't send no cooch bitch nowhere, okay? Don't send no... You can send boobs. You can, you can send boobs. Boobs is fine, okay? Because that's just titties. That, that, that doesn't really matter, okay? But do not send cooch, okay? Cooch is special. Cooch should only be got in person, okay? Anyway, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Peace.